Hey, 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 Taurus. How's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. And this is your general tarot reading for the end of February going into March 2023. Taurus, this is for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please do take a resonate and leave the rest, okay? It's not going to resonate with every Taurus out there. You know how it goes down, right? It's energy. Um, Taurus, let's see what's going on, okay? This is for you. Um, if you want a personal reading, of course, you know where to find me. I do them video record as well as Etsy message. All the information is in the description box below. And we're going to start off with two oracle cards today, okay? So this is for the challenge. The challenge you could be facing in your love, connections, romance, partnerships. Okay? Messages for Taurus. Two cards, please. All right, let's take a look. I'm just going to take one random card here. A tidy house, clarity and organization, okay? So Taurus, there could be a big emphasis on your home right now, okay? Your house, not like necessarily like what it looks like, but like who do you feel at home with, right? Who are you comfortable around? What does your home look like? What does it feel like? How do you want to feel in your home? Um, This could definitely be like you guys decluttering and organizing the home, but it feels like there's something more to it. This could be about organizing the family dynamics. Maybe there's someone that you see family and home with. Maybe you want to have a future and home with. And it feels like you're, you're getting clarity, you're getting truth. This could be your person as well as to how you want to build that home. And there could be an energy of having to organize, having to like come together and maybe see things through the same perspective or point of view. So there's something here where maybe you guys are having to come together regarding the home matter. And then we have drifter, experiencing life as it comes. So you may be dealing with like a drifter-like energy where Taurus, you know, you're secure, you're stable, you're grounded. And then you may be dealing with someone who just is not, right? They kind of drift, they're in and out, they're on and off. Sometimes they're in, sometimes they're not. Um, you know, this is someone that could be fairly inconsistent and not really offering you that security that you need, right? The drifter could be definitely someone who comes in, they, um, you know, just want to experience life. They want to have fun. They want to be very flirtatious and passionate. And maybe they come in, they love bomb you, but then they leave. So I'm getting like a knight tenant energy, knight of cups, knight of wands, where you just want more. And, you know, maybe they kind of drift in and out of your life. Maybe you hear from them and then you don't. So there could be some concerns. Like, is this the kind of home I want to build with this person? Can I see home with this person? <laughs> All right. So Taurus, let's take a look. In the past, my dear Taurus, we have the strength card. You've been tested, right? Maybe this is a Leo. It feels like someone's been pushing your buttons. <laughs> Page of Cups and the Emperor in reverse. So yeah. I feel like there was a love offer, but it's small. Page of Cups makes me feel like, yeah, there's some, you know, early feelings that are developing. Maybe there's some butter butterflies in your tummy. This could be someone that you care for, and maybe they certainly care for you. But it feels like someone is, like, playing it safe. The Page of Cups makes me feel like someone isn't really ready to go and dive in and dive deep on the emotional level. And so you could be dealing with a divine masculine. The Emperor of Rose could be, like, a father figure. It could be someone that you see as, uh, you know, someone you can build a home with, family with. But in the reverse position, the emperor in reverse is telling me that someone just isn't doing enough. They're not stepping up to the plate. They're not making the right decisions. They're not taking on that leadership role. It just feels like they're, they're lacking or slacking, right? <laughs> All right, the current energy, Taurus, we have that king of cups energy. We have the knight of cups and we have the seven of cups in reverse. So it does feel like a lot of you guys are getting more clear, crystal clear on your options in love. Maybe you are also connecting with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But there's definitely a love offer being extended to you in the current energy. Someone could definitely be coming in with a loving, a loving offer telling you, hey, I care for you. I have these feelings. I want to show you. I want to take you out. It definitely feels like this is someone that is definitely putting themselves out there and they want to pursue you. So you may begin becoming crystal clear or more clear regarding how someone feels, their emotions, their feelings, and it feels pretty deep. So I don't know if this is the same person. It doesn't feel like it is. Especially if there's like two masculine. I'm seeing two masculine energies. Now, external to you, we have this beautiful love offer coming in. We have the Ace of Swords, a lot of new beginnings coming in for you guys. The Knight of Swords in reverse and the Hangman in reverse. 
So Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, new beginning in love, new relationship coming in for you guys, Taurus. Someone here is very honest, very upfront, very transparent. It almost makes me feel like, uh, you know, you could be finding out something here about someone's someone's deep love for you and it feels like it's real it's genuine someone is really like letting it all out so a new opportunity new beginning and the knight of swords in verse maybe this is someone here that you're moving away from you know knight of swords in verse could be gemini libra Aquarius, can also be in pisces it also makes you feel like someone is finally ready to be open and honest after maybe much thinking, much uh, <laughs> looking at a situation from a different perspective. The hangman in the verse could look like that, right? Now I know what I want. Now I see it. I don't want this for my life. I want more. And so the hangman in the verse makes you feel like, yeah, there's something here where someone is coming into awareness of what they really want. And so this new beginning, new love, new relationship could be coming in. Um, and for some of you guys, maybe you're cutting out someone even. You may be cutting out or no longer communicating with someone and then going toward this new offer. Let's take a look. Five of Wands, there's competition. It feels like there's two people, for sure, Taurus. I mean, I feel very strongly. There's at least two people here. Because I feel like there's someone that just isn't doing enough and there's someone who's like ready to go all in. And you may be in cahoots. You may be unsure of what to do. Five of Wands, it makes me feel like two people are going to be fighting over you when it's all said and done. Right? Four wands in a verse. What does your home look like? So there could be some kind of unrest or conflict, distractions within the home. Four wands in a verse. It could be some challenges within your marriage. Maybe you met someone outside of your marriage and you're moving forward towards something else or someone else. That could be it because the four wands in a verse could be some kind of disharmony or lack of peace in a home. It could be stepping out or being away from the home. There's conflict. There's drama. There's clashing. There's, there's definitely that five of wands here. And it could be with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, King of Swords is here, okay? So someone here may be wanting to communicate with you or find out more information for sure. Let's take a look. I'm seeing a lot of different stories here. Only you guys know what you guys are in, so please do take a resonate and leave the rest. Throw it out the window. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Um, we have that drifter energy and then we have a tidy house. So give me clarity on that. Give me clarity on that, please. Some of you guys are dealing with a twin flame, 11-11. Here. Five of swords, there's that fighting. So a lot of you guys, maybe there is someone that you're going to be in cahoots with. Like you're literally fighting conflict within a home. There could be some kind of domestic disharmony right now. Um, but maybe you're having to go after what you want. You know, that it could be like fighting that ends up being like in the end good good for some reason it has a good outcome so maybe there's a re reason for all this fighting and clashing in the recent past um give me the energy of the page of cups and the strength seven of swords and the wheel and the nine of cups so i definitely feel like in the past someone definitely here may have been trying to take advantage of the situation i'm seeing the nine of cups as being a little bit of a selfish energy Having their cake and eating too, you know, this is definitely someone that just only thinks about themselves, their happiness, and maybe not necessarily yours, Taurus. Seven of Swords does make me feel like there was some sneaky energy. Maybe this person not doing what they said they were going to do, hiding things, even anything, anything can go with that Seven of Swords, right? <laughs> I also feel like the Page of Cups could be an apology, like, I'm sorry. But again, the Nine of Cups, was there something here that maybe, Taurus, you had to do for yourself to be happy? Give me the Strength card. Feels like there was a lot of testing and challenges within a connection, and maybe there was a uh, betrayal. Maybe there was an ending or separation or breakup. It feels like there's a lot of healing in the past. So, you know, the Strength card tells me, yeah, there was a lot of challenges because something really hit hard. Something hit your... Something was really difficult on the emotional level, right? Because the Three of Swords is here. So it required a lot of healing, recovery, pain, right? You had to go through the pain, and that's probably why the Strength card came out. It could be a Leo here. All right, give me the energy of the Knight of Cups. A love offer coming in. It could be from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got <laughs> strong King of Swords, and we got the King of Cups energy. So strong water and strong air. Ace of Swords in a verse. See, there's someone that you're not talking to. There's someone that you're letting go of or you're breaking away from. The strength in a verse makes you feel like you're at your wit's end or you're no longer, you no longer can take it. There's the energy of like, okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> um, it could be some kind of miscommunication or some kind of nasty exchange of communication. Give me the King of Cups energy. The lovers. 
there's someone you're gravitating toward, but it feels like you're having to release or let go of someone from the past first in order to come toward this new person that is coming in. And it feels like this person coming in could be literally bringing that new new beginning, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. They're honest with their feelings, they're truthful, they're ready to express, and they got big, big love for you. I mean, it's a win-win. So you're getting clarity on actually like who, who loves you and who's willing to actually show up for you in love. The lovers is you making a decision it's a choice you're having to make this could be with a gemini you're having to make a decision and maybe it requires you letting go and freeing yourself no longer holding on to something that isn't worth holding on to with the four pentacles in the verse okay so it could look like that ace of cups and ace of swords Ten of Cups is here, you guys. I mean, there's something here that's going to make you very happy. There's new beginnings coming in, but you're having to be open to it. And one thing I am seeing, Taurus, is the Page of Cups and the Chariot in the verse. You may be second-guessing it. Some of you guys, there is an energy of having to forgive someone or having to open up to the idea of loving someone because maybe you're holding back. Maybe you're a little bit closed off. Maybe you are dealing with some kind of emotional pain or upset from a past situation. Maybe a cancer or someone that has um, caused a lot of hurt or there's some kind of failure with regard to that situation. Maybe it was a failure of a marriage or some kind of, again, a commitment. Um, I feel like the energy of the Knight of Swords and Verses tell me that maybe you are struggling with letting this person go or a situation from the past go or having a difficult time forgiving them because you never got the truth. So that could be something you're struggling with, okay? There's something about finding out the truth, getting answers, getting clarity. But I feel like the Seven of Cups, if you are looking for clarity, you're going to be getting it. All right, the hangman in reverse. Someone is recognizing something. I mean, there's an energy of someone rejecting you, but it feels like now they're left with this missed opportunity. Let's be honest. Someone with the hangman, it could be a past person or a past situation here. Where now they're looking at things, seeing it from a different perspective, seeing the wrong, seeing how they may have even sabotaged the connection for cups. And now they're left with nothing. Now they're left with this, <laughs> this lack in their life or at a loss. And so there's emotions, there's a lot of disappointment, and there's a grief and loss in your person's energy. Now with the Eight of Pentacles, I almost feel like I wouldn't be surprised if this person comes back and tries to do better, tries to reinvest or, you know, re-solidify, rebuild the connection. I wouldn't be surprised. And I think that's where the conflict comes in. Be careful, Taurus, okay, as to who you let back in because I do see some conflict. I see them trying to get in the way of what you're creating. Maybe there is some kind of like a home that you're creating. Maybe you're trying to move on and restabilize your home, get married again. And that could be something here you're dealing with the hermit in reverse. With the hermit, really take your time and go within. There's something here you're going to be in introspection, really having to go deep and think about. This is soul searching. This is introspection, reflection on a deep level where you're going to be getting some kind of insight, some kind of hidden knowledge or wisdom. And it feels like it's going to be very valuable for you and how to move past this challenge conflict whatever this is regarding the home the family um it feels like the hermit is really important because you know this could be a virgo in your life but it feels like this is about you taurus really taking your time and really figuring out what's best for you yeah because it feels like you know <laughs> the towers here and the outcome so a lot of you guys a decision may have to be made because it feels like if you made the wrong decision you could definitely end it up with this tower moment there's a lot of big change coming in and it feels like the tower again it could be something within again the home or affecting your home and family so just be careful i mean i'm getting the energy like there's someone here maybe a king of swords who is still around you who may be wanting to reconnect with you but is that the person that's bringing the drama and if so maybe you're having to scale back and hold back and retreat back with the hermit okay so Taurus, that is what I have for you guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings. And you all have a great week ahead. All right, take care. Bye.